Welcome to Electra Online. This rule is so important it really warrants another video. Here we can see that we have two triangles and notice that they have each of course three sides and we can see that the corresponding sides of these two triangles have equal length which is indicated by the single line over there, the double lines over there and the triple lines over there. So we can conclude that those two triangles must be congruent. And so the only necessary rule to make sure that two triangles are congruent is as follows. If the three sides of one triangle have the same lengths as the three corresponding sides of a second triangle, then, and I should write then here, then the two triangles are congruent. And it's the only necessary condition. Now there's of course other ways in which we can determine congruency, but that one is ironclad. So as an example, here we have one triangle, a second triangle, notice that, of course, one of the sides is common for both triangles, so we definitely know that the, the measure, the length of this is the same for both triangles, but it's also indicated that these two sides have, uh, these two corresponding sides have the same length, and these two corresponding sides have the same length, and so by definition, if the lengths of the three sides of one triangle are equally linked to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, the two triangles must therefore be congruent and we can make that conclusion. So that's a good rule to know in case you're checking for congruency of triangles.